Hey there, it's Jody Kamatour. I'm here to give you your Tuesday tip for the biz of kids yoga. And I'm actually in a different location today. I'm just shooting you this um, for my iMovie in my office and it's super easy. And um, I hope that inspires you to actually start making some videos yourself. This video is actually about naming your kids yoga business. And this has actually been a conversation that I've been enjoying having with a lot of kids yoga teachers. So, um, you know, your kids yoga business name is, it's really important. A name for any business is really important because it actually, you know, can define you. And it's your web address, it's your email address, it's, um, it's your brand identity. And um, a good name for a kids yoga business can either really make your business huge success or it can actually, you know, dim it. So it's really important that you choose a name that's going to really be appropriate for your business. And when I say appropriate, that means if you're the only one teaching um, in your kids yoga business, if it's all about you, then you can give your, your business a name that includes your name. For example, you can call it um, Jody's Kids Yoga, or you can call it, you know, Jody's Yoga Biz, or if it's not just you, um, and you for have other teachers who are teaching with you, then you'll want to make sure that you have um, a name that actually doesn't limit it to just yourself, um, that you can actually grow and have other people teaching um, under your, your name brand. Um, the other thing that's really important to do is to bounce your name, the name, the idea that you have for the name of your business off of other people. You know, listen to other people how they say it. Um, is it rememberable? Is it unique? Is it easy to say? Right? I mean, if it's a hard, hard business name to say, then you probably don't want to, or even hard business name to remember, that's probably not a good one. Um, so keep it simple and keep it um, keep it easy, right? So having your friends and your family um, saying it will definitely help to inspire. Don't make it too confusing. And another really important tip is that you'll want to research your name, right? And making sure that no one else has this name um, yet. And um, you could do that by going to GoDaddy.com and just seeing if anyone else has that URL. Um, and then once you're clear that you're actually the only one that can have that URL, um, I'd suggest going ahead and purchasing it, um, but purchasing all of the domains. So for example, purchasing um, nextgenerationyoga.com, nextgenerationyoga.net, nextgenyoga, you know, just kind of all the different options out there so that you're covered and making sure that no one else will take it. And so I just want to leave you with this. You know, a name is important, um, but it's an interesting. You know, it, it, I really, like, choose a name. Get out there and choose a name and just and, and do it. Um, I've been working with some kids' yoga teachers lately, and um, there's one woman I've been working with, and she's been thinking about a name for over a year. And then there's another woman who says, yeah, I'm going to come up with a name next week. And so you can see, you know, the differences of where they're at. And um, holding on to a name for over a year can really hold you back and just committing to coming up with a name and being light around it and you know remember Rome wasn't built in a day and you, you can flow with it and you can gradually shift it and it'll evolve into what it is that you truly want so go out there choose a name bounce it off some other people see what they think see if they can remember it um, keep it simple and make sure that you're the only one who's using that name and trademark it Make sure that it's yours. So I hope this was useful and helpful for you. Feel free to share the video if it was. And leave a comment. would love to hear from you. What has been your process around choosing a name for your kids' yoga business? Thanks so much for watching. And always know there's light inside of me. There's light inside of you. And together, we are one. Namaste.